Well, good morning. It's not particularly a good morning here in Harlem. At approximately 1.40 this morning, we received a call from an occupant uh, on the sixth floor of building across the street. That's 2441 Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard and 142nd Street. Uh, that occupant reported fire out the windows already. Our units responded in three minutes. Uh, we're met with a fire on the fifth floor, a corner apartment. It's a quite a large apartment, three bedrooms, six rooms. Um, units were met at the door of that apartment with fire. Um, the entire apartment was involved. They aggressively moved in, extinguishing the fire as they did when they reached the two rear bedrooms. Um, we found six occupants of that apartment deceased. They were two adults and four children ranging in ages from 3 to 11. And um, those uh, occupants are still in the apartment as we speak here now. You can, you can see if you look across the street now, the uh, heavy fire was showing from five windows of that apartment. And uh, as aggressive as the members could be, they were not able to reach those occupants and they are deceased. Uh, as preliminarily, there are, um, it was a, a mother and four children and uh, potentially a, uh, a stepson, another a relative of that family. Excuse me? An adult, yes. How long did it take to extinguish the flames upon arrival here? This fire didn't go under control for more than an hour. We had approximately 100 members on the scene. Yes. Commissioner, can you briefly describe the uh, condition that your members met upon making entry to the fire floor? I, as I say, the fire um, met them at the front door of the apartment. It is a particularly large apartment with three bedrooms, a living room, kitchen, dining room, and um, every bit of that apartment had fire damage. Is there any way to uh, initially, we believe the fire started in the kitchen. And it appears accidental at this point? Uh, there's no indication otherwise, the as of this time. Sorry, this the 911 call was not from the fire apartment, it was from another apartment. The first call came from uh, the sixth floor. We've got subsequent calls from uh, other apartments. Uh, no one left the apartment. All the, other the, the, um, the fire apartment, uh, the door was secured. Can we sort of fire, uh, fire um, alarms or smoke detectors that appear to be functioning? Or, uh... Well, it's too early and there's a lot of fire damage that we haven't found any. Uh, there was no indication yet. Uh, the members did not hear an alarm, but that doesn't mean it were, that they were either there or not there. Uh, we'll try to uncover that as we do our investigation. Do you know if any family would be able to come back to their apartment anytime soon? It's a, a very large building, so some of the occupants will. Um, we had some damage to the floor directly above the apartment, directly above the fire apartment. That was the only other fire damage in the building. Did firefighters have to rescue anyone else in the building? There were three other occupants of this building who had minor smoke inhalation. There were no firefighters injured. It, it's never easy for our members. Um, you know, we're in the business of saving lives, and um, in, in this instance, we were not able to, and uh, it's very difficult for our members to, to deal with this loss also. But uh, right now, our, our hearts are with these poor people and their friends and family. Thank you very much.